Well, all week, building up to the tragic anniversary, of course, of when Somland was destroyed by fire on the 2nd of August 1973. We, we have talked to all sorts of people involved, but uh, now I'm with Neil Cheatham, uh, a 12-year-old lad at the time. On the night in question, you were there? Yes, 12 years old. I was here at Somland. I'm really just trying to get the feel of you know what it was like. W were you in the basement where the kids' stuff was, or where were you? Uh, I went throughout the whole building, actually. I'd been in there for some hours that day. So what was the first you knew of the trouble? The first I knew of the trouble was I'd just left the building and turned round and saw smoke almost straight away as soon as I left. And within a few minutes, um, the fire service had attended and I just stood across on the promenade there wondering what had happened so quickly. So you, you got out quite quite quickly then, anyway. Straight away, yes. Because you know, there are all these stories about fire exits being locked, um, downstairs some, some of the attendants just disappeared and left kids still on rides. I mean, there's all, all sorts of stories, but you, you didn't see any of that, I guess, then. Well, the fire took hold very, very quickly, and there was a, a set of stairs that you could see quite visually from the promenade area, and the stairs were destroyed at the bottom, and you could see people coming down the stairs to escape and then the stairs had obviously burnt away very, very quickly. And the nature of the fire was so intense that the flames had gone up the side of the building. So as the people then went back up to the top of the stairs to escape off the exit staircase, the stairs were destroyed at the top. So people were literally having this hot glass stuff dripping on them yeah. and had nowhere to go. And you could just see people falling on the stairwell. You, you saw that? Yes, it was absolutely horrific. So you're outside, there's, there's what, 3,000 people still, oh, a lot of people in there, 3,000 I think at the peak at that time that night. Mm. Well, some trying to get out, some areas were obviously, as I said, blocked off. Yes, was it, there panic? I think there was panic. I, we obviously only being a 12 year old boy, it was all very alarming and a little bit exciting. Yes. Lots of fire engines, lots of people in attendance and a lot of smoke, a lot of, lot of shouting, a lot of noise. It, it was quite chaotic. Does it seem like 40 years ago to you? I mean, what sort of memories does this place bring back? Uh, memories like that never, never leave you, but it doesn't seem like 40 years ago. It's just sad to see it 40 years on and, and derelict. I've asked everyone what they have their, their views of what should happen to the site. Do you have any particular views, you know, be memorial garden or just reuse as leisure or flats? Well, being brought up in Douglas, I spent many, many happy hours in Summerland and I would like to see it back as a leisure facility for the youth of today. Mm -hmm. And do you think lessons have been learned from what went on 40 years ago? I think health and safety has probably gone too far from 40 years ago. Right. That's an interesting thought because, I mean, obviously, aura glass and the stuff they use was completely, as it turned out, the, the wrong materials to use because when it caught light it just dripped didn't it like yes. burning yes, it rain did. almost it did drip and that that was probably the the thing that sticks in my mind the most the fact that this glass was actually dripping like plastic yeah and um it was obviously horrific they say it, it was like only 20 minutes between the start and finish of, of the complex with all that glass going the, the aura glass it, it was very very quick I, I literally saw the flames starting at the bottom and the flames just shot up the side of the building all within a matter of minutes. Do you feel that, I mean, you're lucky really, or did you just, you just be in the right place at the right time sort of thing? I mean, you could have got stuck, I guess, like a lot of people did. I think I was just lucky. I just decided to leave the building at, at exactly the same time the fire started. <laughs>